Okay, I'm back, and for one of the easiest apps ever, um, Real Basic is mostly, well, not really, but, um, this is basically what makes, um, the easiest app to make on Real Basic. Well, one of, because you could just make it be like something like that. So, change, um, it's going to be how to make a web browser. So, what we're going to do is, like I usually do, change from untitled to web browser, spelled right, web browser, and now I'm going to put this edit field, this is where you're going to type the HTML, or I mean the URL, and now I'm going to make the most of the space, and fit a push button, no, a push button, over here, and then format it. Okay. And now make real basic get everything so it's like uh change this so it's there we go. And now from untitled change it to like most of our web browsers would go, so I'm just gonna make it go. Make it default so you just hit enter. I'm gonna go to HTML view, drag one into the um, screen, and line it up with everything. And drop all the way down here. And now I just want I want the HTML in here to load in here. Or the URL in here to load in here. So I'll add code to the push button. And it makes it real basic make this really easy. So I'm gonna put the HTML viewer one dot load URL and then put in brackets edit field one dot text. One line of code to make a simple web browser. So so it's basically saying the HTML viewer, which is the thing that I showed that takes most of the screen. Um loads the URL that's located in the edit field. So I'll run it. Now compile and build. The build if I didn't error up, which I'm pretty sure I didn't. Yeah. And there it is. It says it's building and then it's going to open. And there it is. So now it's launching, and here it is. So, like you don't know most of it. Um, most web browsers you don't have to type in HTTP slash slash um colon slash slash. Yeah, but in mine you do. Because when you usually type it in, it, the HTTP colon slash slash will automatically appear. Mine you don't. You need to type it in manually. So, I'll check it out. Like, I'll go to Yahoo. And it will open. I hit the go button. And there's Yahoo. And I'll, I'll go to YouTube. YouTube. It might not work because this doesn't have good um, graphics or video player on it, but there it is. So, yeah, that's my page. Um, now I'll just um, quit out of this. And, like I said before, to type in the HTTP, but wouldn't it be a lot easier to not type it in? Well, to do that, I'll select the edit field button. Or just select the edit field itself. Go to the property pane, or whatever, and go to the initial state, and then type in initial state only of one thing called text. Click on it. Type in HTTP colon slash slash www dot. Now you don't even have to type in www dot. It'll already do it for you. See, it has it right in the edit field right now, so you can see it's right there, and you don't have to type it in. So now all we have to do is. Go to the app and click. Uh, since I'm doing it on a Mac, like always, change the Mac app name to Web Browser and all built. 
and it's gonna be highlighted right here and that's the one I'm doing it's gone so it's like loading the menu bar and everything and now it's finished and now in a few seconds the window will pop up right here um about here with all my other applications I've showed you on me. Mm -hmm. There it is. Click on it. There it is. Open it and see look, it already has http colon slash slash www. So that's how you make a web browser.